am Camille A. Stocker. I'm a homeschool mom of two girls, a second and a fourth grader, and I'm here to take you on our journey of our day in life of homeschooling with me. Um, I would like to shout out the people who have subscribed to Stocker Family. We greatly appreciate those um, subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, but you like what we are doing, make sure you hit subscribe, like, and comment and we appreciate you so much. Now, you know I have to do it because it is Friday. So, guess what? It's Friday. Happy Friday. Hey. Um, so I didn't have a little dance this week. Sorry. But, um, so this week we are talking about homeschooling schedules. Um, summer edition because I'll give you another one when it's regular school edition but right now it's summertime and I feel like summertime is a time to relax we are relaxed homeschooling I would say nothing too rigorous nothing too um, hard uh, just taking it day by day and our schedule kind of changes we don't do everything that's on our schedule so let's get into it we start our day at 11 um, but before that, we do, the girls do have music lessons at 10.30. So within that 30 minute time frame, Ava is playing her guitar, Isabel is playing her drums. So we are doing that and uh, so yeah, within that 30 minutes, then at 11, we are doing our devotional, our prayer, and our affirmations. Now this is where we read our devotional from. Uh, it gives you, I've shown them this before. But it gives you the scripture and it tells you how it's used like in the world or in science. This is what, yes, this is God and science and with science. And then it gives you a prayer at the bottom and it gives you a little fun fact about what you can learn about like say the solar system or a type of animal. So we do that daily. Um, then after our devotional affirmations and our prayer, we do math. I'm going to show you. See, look. This is how it's changed. There's nothing you can see. But we do devotional prayer affirmation. We usually, this week we were supposed to do a puzzle that we started. Um, I think we only did it one day, and that was Monday. And then after that, I was like, okay, I don't want to do this. But we're gonna finish it. So you see that? Can we finish it? We're gonna finish it. Um, but so we've been skipping the puzzle and going straight into math. And so I write it out for them. It doesn't have to be the time. We just have to start at 11. And whatever time they finish, that's the time they finish. So um, this was yesterday. So Ava did Saxon Math uh, 78 A and B. And Isabel did 180 days, day 101. And so with Ava's Saxon Math, there's like two fact sheets, which are like speed fact sheets that she has to do. And then there's two, there's a side A and there's a side B worksheet that she does. So I've been breaking those down on uh, one day she'll do both fact sheets and then on the uh, the next day she'll do the worksheets. And then so to break it down and not have so much work, we're not spending 45 minutes on math. We need it to be from maybe 10, 15 or 20 minutes and then that's it. Um, so then after that, um, I don't have a time. It's just like whatever time they finish their math. And Isabel finishes rather quickly because it's only eight problems and she zooms through it. And, and I just feel if you're getting through that, okay, that's your math for the day. So we wait on Ava. And then after that, um, they get a snack. Because probably by that time, it probably is 1130 around there. It's 1130. Um, so they get a snack, I read aloud. I am still reading Sideways Stories from Sideways, Sideways Side School. And so I'm still reading that. We're gonna get through it, we're gonna get through it. Um, but my goal for this month in July is to read Black Beauty. Um, then after that, they do their own thing. They go play, they go play, and they go play. And I know that the best thing for a child to do is play or they watch a movie or they're watching some type of TV show. But while they're watching that, they're building. Um, Ava has taken up sewing, so she's probably sewing something up and Isabel is probably building something cool with her Legos. 
and that's really how our summer goes um, on Fridays so that's Monday through Thursdays on Fridays I am really not pushing it it'll probably be a movie day go outside because I know in a little bit we're gonna go outside because I have a challenge I <laughs> my husband challenged me to something so I'm gonna I'm I'm do this um, but um, also when we go we go outside in the evening times they run through the sprinklers we have what a soccer ball we have these big things of badminton jump ropes um, yes base this baseball thing we have so we just having fun just implementing that play fun 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 so that is all for our homeschooling schedule summer edition uh, I do have some new things coming up that I cannot well, I have to wait but I can't wait to tell you about it um, because it's going to be some op good opportunities for you to um, help me succeed and I help you succeed so um, that's all I have for this week I thank you so much for watching so as always I pray you have a blessed day I pray you have a blessed weekend I pray you have a blessed week uh, enjoy your holiday um, and I will see you in my next video bye